and welcome back to Status Factory, guys. It's episode three. Right, today's focus, the road factory. This is our first proper factory. I'm going to go level by level up in the air. Currently, we haven't got a lot of nice looking parts where you can hide stuff in windows and stuff, but we will unlock that in a few episodes time. So let's quickly run over there. Right, I think I've done a bit of a boo-boo here. I can't seem to find the portable on miners. I am pretty sure I made them, but you never know. I'll quickly go back to the base and get some. Right, now we actually have the portable on miners. Let's put down two iron mines. Okay, let's put down a belt merger. We'll put a belt from each of them, and then we'll just run one belt to the factory. The main reason we're doing this is they're only making 60 or per minute each, so they'll easily run on a tier 2 belt. So let's pick the rest of that concrete up and we'll start making the foundations. Mmm, love the smell of concrete in the morning. <laughs> right, next, let's put down the smelters. Uh, we have 120 ore to play with, so each smelter will do 30. So let's put down four of them. Right, let's double check. No, they're actually only making 30. Then the other one. So we're making 30 as well. Ah, oh, I miscalculated there, right? So when you're making 60 or a minute. Once we get minor twos, they'll be making 60 or per minute each, which will be 120 in total. Then we will put four smelters down. But unfortunately at the moment we can only run two. Ah, oh, it's a bit of a yeah. Let's put some belt splitters down. We're going to need two of them. And then we'll join the, up to the belt splitters. So next, let's add a couple of power poles. I will put another power pole right in the corner of the build because then I'll just run that all the way up each level. Later on in the game, you will unlock the ability to put the uh, power poles on the walls, which makes it look a lot neater. But for now, we're going to have to live with this. It's pretty ugly, to be honest. So next, let's put a couple of belt mergers down. Join them up to the smelters.
like this is where you've got to get a little bit creative at the start of the game because you don't have bare belt windows at the moment so let's put a conveyor pole there we'll put another one here just to try and line this up right let's put a lift coming off the belt merger this will then lift the belts up a little bit higher we'll do it like to a height of two then the conveyor poles will then go back out of the building above the one that originally came in you'll see what i mean Oh, my OCD is happy. That looks really neat. Later on, you can add little walkways and things so you can actually go up next to the belts. You can design factories however you want. It's, it's in your... Whatever you can dream of, you could probably build in this game. Put three walls up and then we'll build the next lot of foundations. So let's speed it up. Right now level two is done unfortunately you've got to use these big ramps at the moment because we haven't got the walkways it makes it look so much prettier for the stairs but well this is all we've got at the moment so we're going to have to live with it unfortunately so let's get the conveyor belt up to here to level two okay i'm having a bit of a mind blank moment here i, I totally forgot what we need to build rotors rods and screws ah oh, this is dead easy yeah, it's one of the easier factories, just to be honest. So now, after we focus back to the task at hand, let's get the conveyor belt up to the level two. So now the ingots will go upstairs. Isn't it pretty? Now let's build, how many will it be? Four constructors if my brilliant math skills are right. I think it's four. Right now we're powerful for each constructor, then eventually we'll, we will put another power pool right in the corner again, just to get power up to this level. Now let's put down some conveyor splitters to split the belts into the four different factories. It's really simple to get these lined up. You just line up the green lines up, one for the factory and one for the other splitter.
Hmm, bit of a quandary here. I could actually build the screws on this level if I want, but oh, just for ease of design, for right for now, we'll, we'll put the screws on the next level. So we're going to have to split this line so the rods are going up to the screw factory, then one line goes up to the rotor factory. Right, this is why I'm in a quandary. I could actually make the screws on this level if I want, just by simply having the line come back in on itself. But just for ease of the, like, the design, just for this factory, I will stick them on another level. But I think in later factories, just it just makes it pretty easy to do. Right, let's put a conveyor lift in. Um, ooh, actually, how many rods are we making? 15 per minute. So that's 60. So effectively, 30 will be going to the screws. Oh, I can't have that. That doesn't line up right. No. OCD won't let me. We'll put two conveyor pulls at the end here, run a line, and then we'll use a splitter to split the line into two. Yeah, I wish there was a way you could line these up perfectly. At the moment, you're just having to judge it yourself. Right, now that's full, I think. Yep, let's get the third floor built now. Speed it up. So let's put a conveyor pole down and a power pole. Oh no, this is going to hurt. That wasn't too bad. Right, we need to run the power lines to the other levels. Right, if my maths is correct, I am a university professor, not. We should need three constructors here. Oh, let's get the power poles down. As per usual, we're going to need, what, three splitters this time? Yeah, it's three. Ah, 
Ah, no, put down three nerds. Gotta make sure the arrows are pointing in the right direction, though. Down some conveyor poles and oh, actually, we're gonna to need to put the conveyor belt up to this level, aren't we? Just like on the previous levels, let's put a conveyor lift up. We'll get everything off the ground and my OCD will be happy. So let's build this final level. Speed it up, please. Fantastic, now that's done. Actually, while building this, I've just realised I've actually used the bigger foundations of these 8x2s instead of 8x1s, what I normally use. I'm not too worried because this factory will get pulled down at some point. So that's the conveyor lift with the screws coming up to this level, and then we'll hook the power pole up. Now we need to get the conveyor lift for which one is it? The rods to go to the top level from level two, if I'm correct. So now that's done, let's put an assembler down and we're gonna have to figure out the right distance from the splitters. Just so it goes into each level. You'll see what I mean in a minute. That was a good guess, actually. I like to design it this way because then it's easy to upgrade. That's, that's my motto. Think of a way so it's upgradable in the future. It's a lovely view from up here. I mean, look at that waterfall. It in the sunset. Seriously, this is just... Um, I keep saying it. It's just such a pretty game. 
so let's stick a conveyor pole down then we need to get a lift all the way down to the ground floor I know, it's OCD time, I, I, I just have to make it look pretty. I mean, I could have just ran a line straight from the factory to the conveyor pole. Don't shoot me over it. Right, since we're only four floors up, if my maths are correct, they might not be, you know that. We should have enough distance on the lift to go all the way to the ground. Yeah, that looks a decent height there. I like to keep the belts off the floor because later on when you have cars, it is a pain in the butt getting over belts with it. So if you keep it up a height, you can just drive straight under it. So what I'm thinking, let's do a bit of housekeeping. We'll use all the conveyor poles and tidy this all up so it's like it's only one belt coming to the base. So let's quicken it up. Whoa, we are seriously over our energy consumption. We're only making 150, with a max if everything was turned on, we use 185. Luckily, we're, we're not turning everything on right now. But yeah, we're gonna have to put down a couple of generators, just in case all of a sudden everything decided to work. With a rookie error, I didn't pick the ingots. Minus 10 points to me. Better check all the factories just to make sure I haven't made a selection. I don't want an ingot situation where factories just sitting there and not running. Let's upgrade all the belts to level 2, I think, just to get the ingots there a little bit quicker.
Right, them ones look okay. Yep, the screws go into the top level. So at max capacity we can make four rotors per minute. But at the moment the screws are not even close to getting to a hundred a minute, is it? There we go, the very first rotor off our little production line. Let's upgrade the belts here as well. We need to get at least a hundred up there a minute. Right now that's up and running. It looks a lot better anyway. Let's quickly run back to base. Okay, let's build the man research next. With this, uh, a lot of the stuff you've been collecting, like the flowers, the animal shells, the nuts, the berries, they all go in here and they unlock different items, really. New recipe unlocked. Now we've unlocked the biomass with the animal shells. I really New wouldn't use that for them though. In the MAM. So with the flower petals, this is where you can unlock the spray paint, the spray gun. So you can change the different colours of your factories, the walls, everything, whatever you want really. This is where you customise your heart's desire. Yeah, we can't unlock that one at the moment as we don't have steel. New object added to the object scanner. Now I've researched a few items, let's get a couple more biomass burners built just to cover the shortfall for that power usage. And quite a bit of fuel has built up since we've been building that rotor factory. Alright, let's quickly fill generators up with fuel and then we can check on how many rotors and the other parts we've got. Ah, oh, cool, we've got six already. I mean, you won't use lots of them anyway because you just use them for building machines. So the parts bins, yeah, they're all starting to fill up nicely. We've got plenty of parts on hand. There's our lovely monstrosity of a factory we've built. At the moment it doesn't look too pretty because we haven't got glass mainly, that's when it starts to get pretty. And windows and doors and various other things. We'll get there guys, we will. I'm going to make that do for the day guys. We've built that lovely little factory there, it's our first proper one in the game. Yeah, I'll, I'll let the game run off camera, I'll unlock as much research as I can and get some parts built and ready for the next episode. Which is probably going to be the reinforced plates factory, kind of a similar design. So please give me a like, please give me a subscribe and any comments, tips, whatever, let me know guys. See you next time.